The Ministry of Health will be paying part of the outstanding monies owed to private health care institutions who provide dialysis to public health patients in the upcoming weeks. Minister of Health Terence Dia Singh was asked by the MP for Urupuch West what plans are in place to ensure that patients continue to receive treatment in a timely manner. There were reports this week that the St. Clair Medical Center did not receive any payments for the past nine months and was threatening to cut dialysis treatment to hundreds of patients. Minister Dial Singh confirmed that the treatment was indeed cut. He said Medcor is owed approximately $1.2 million and the total owed to all dialysis centers is $16.6 .6 million. He said they are committed to paying off the debt. Or will receive approximately $400,000 within the next week. But Madam Speaker, what we owe to Medcor has to be taken in the round and in consideration with following facts. From 2014 to now, we have paid Medcor $7.5 million for dialysis, $20.6 million for radiotherapy services, and other surgical procedures, $576,000. We have done $30 million worth of business with Medcor from 2014 to now. He added that all patients from Medco have been sent to other dialysis centers. The MP for Karini East sought to find out if it affected the care to the patients at the other dialysis centers. The other dialysis centers, when they were contacted from Tuesday to take over the Medco uh, patients, were only too glad to do it. And they told us that they are in total sympathy with us and they will not be taking any action to stop services. And that is the type of patriotism we need in the country now. And I want to congratulate, I want to congratulate the other nine dialysis centers for working with the government. And Minister Dial Singh said the ministry is making moves to lessen the government's dependence on the private sector for dialysis services. And this move by Medco concretizes in my mind that my approach and this government's approach to finally deal with the public health care sector and its delivery is the correct path as we seek to do more and more procedures in-house. So Northwest will have five more chairs in 2018 and we are moving Southwest from its current four to 15 chairs. Madam Speaker, there are a total of 145 chairs in the private sector and 55 in the public sector. 